If you're trying to choose the right AI model for your needs these days, I'm afraid it's not the easiest of tasks out there. It seems like every single week we have yet another AI model which is better than the ones already on the market. And when I say better, each one of them has their own unique selling points, whether it's speed, accuracy, or any of the other factors, each one is a little bit different than the others. Wouldn't it be great if we had one AI Swiss army knife of a tool which gave us a package with all of those different AI tools all bundled up together? And wouldn't it also be great if it came in with a decent price tag? Today we're gonna to be solving both of those problems with a tool called NinjaChat. And without much further ado, let's jump into their webpage. So what it is, is an all-in-one AI platform which gives you access to a whole lot of different models. In this page, you're gonna see the pricing explained, which we'll go over in a little bit. It also has the FAQs and any other information you need to know before you actually buy your access, which I've already done. So I'm gonna take you to the main page of NinjaChat and you're greeted with a little grid view with four different AI models all in one page. That's called the AI Playground, and we're gonna look at that in just a minute. But first, let's have a look at all the different AI models that we can start using today. So you got your GPT-40, you got your Anthropic Claude, Gemini Advanced, Grok, Llama 3, Mistral, Perplexity, and the latest GPT-40 Mini. So I'm gonna click into Llama 3 just to see what the interface of this tool looks like. And I can see that there's a lot of different prompts that are floating around my screen just to give me an idea of what I can do with this tool. So I'm gonna click on the explain superconductors button and I'm gonna give it some time to give me an explanation. So this is basically the UI. It kind of looks like Apple iMessage or Facebook Messenger or any of the other chats. You ask your questions on the right hand side and you get your responses on the left hand side. And on top of that, you can decide which AI model you're gonna use at a given time. Now let's go back to the AI Playground and I'll explain what it does. So as I said, it gives you a bit of a grid where you can choose between all the different models and compare them. And you can also click between a two pane view, three pane, four pane or six pane. I'll stick to the four pane just so it's easier for you guys to see my screen. And you can also click on the sync chats button which allows you to ask the same question to all the models so you can get a better comparison on how they work. Because as I said before, each of the different AI models has a different unique selling point. So for instance, Grok, you probably see is quite snappy. It gives you very fast responses. Then we have Claude Opus, which in my opinion is one of the strongest contenders over here, especially when it comes to writing code. Then we have ChatGPT 4.0, which is a general tool, which is just great at pretty much everything. And then we have Gemini, which is very good when it comes to working with Google services, such as YouTube, for instance. So it will be very good at giving an overview of what's going on in a YouTube video if you don't want to watch the whole thing. Of course, please don't use it on my videos, but any other ones is absolutely fine. So we're gonna ask it a general question of give me a diet for the whole day. And you can see that that message is being sent to all the different models and you'll see the responses in a Jiffy. So as I expected, Grok and Cloud Opus, which I didn't expect, are the fastest two models, followed by ChatGPT4 and Gemini 1.5. And you got your responses. You can scroll through those and see which one acts the best for your needs. So let's go through those answers. And I see that every single model is trying to give me an oatmeal. So I guess that's what I'm gonna have after recording this video. So now let's talk a little bit about the pricing. So each of those models comes at around $20 a month, specifically the Gemini Advanced, Perplexity, Claude, and a few of the other ones. Now, if you were to combine all of those together, you'd probably be looking at something around 100 or more dollars a month. I think um, the website tells us that it's $110 a month. Now with NinjaChat, for a monthly pricing, it would start off with $11 a month for 1,000 AI-powered chat messages, $24 for 5,000, and $36 for unlimited AI messages. That comes with a number of image generations and music generations, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But then if you go into the annual billing, you will see that it's obviously a little bit cheaper than that. So it starts off at $9 a month for the beginner version. The master plan comes at $18 and the legend comes in at $25 a month for the unlimited AI powered chat messages, which is actually a substantial discount from the $36 that you'd be paying if you were on a monthly plan. So effectively, you'd be paying $25 for unlimited usage of eight AI tools, all of which would cost $20 each. So if that sounds like a good deal to you, 
please follow my affiliate link which is in the description below or right around my fingers right now. And if you want an even better deal, then you can use my promo codes SiliconMine25, which is right over here and in the description box below for a 25% discount on all of those different packages. Let's go back into NinjaChat because there is a number of other tools that I wanted to explain. One of them being AI Library. And AI Library gives you a number of AI text tools which you can use to better your prompts. So in here we have the hook generator, which basically gives us a better starting to your article or video or any other content that you're building. We have a paragraph polisher, which is fairly self-explanatory. Then we have thesis, statement forge, vocabulary, virtuoso, citation genie, story spark, title titan, and a number of other ones that you can go through. I'm gonna use the hook generator to generate a hook for this very video. This is what I'm gonna type in. I'm building a video for my YouTube channel about this awesome new tool called Ninja Chat, which allows users to access a lot of different models for a low price. Give me a good hook. And after a couple of seconds of waiting, we have... Imagine having the power of multiple AI models at your fingertips, all for the price of a coffee. In today's video, we're diving into Ninja Chat, a revolutionary tool that's changing the game for creators and innovators alike. Get ready to unlock endless possibilities without breaking the bank. All right, so that's the AI library. Next, we're gonna to move to the chat PDF, which as you might have guessed, is a tool for talking to a PDF. I'm gonna upload this PDF document about a boat ride I might be taking part in later on this month or next month, next month. First of all, it gives us a little summary of what's going on in the document. And you can also preview the PDF in this little browser on the site. And as you can see, we're using the GPT-4 model and we're gonna be asking it questions about what's inside the document. So what are the names of the different rooms on the boat? And it gives us the answer of diamond room, sapphire room, ruby room, pearl room, crystal room. And it's consistent with what's in the PDF. As you can see, it's exactly the names of those rooms. Next, on top of all of those different AI models that we've discussed and the different AI tools for writing and discussing PDFs, we also have an image generator. So this one uses Stable Diffusion 3, which is one of the best models for generating images. And we're gonna ask it to generate a picture of Mickey Mouse surfing the waves next to the Golden Gate Bridge. We get an image of a Mickey Mouse on a surfboard next to the waves, next to the Golden Gate Bridge, but not quite surfing it. So this is not really the model's fault. This is my fault. And we're gonna get over this in a second. But what I'm gonna just try and do is regenerate the image and see what happens this time. And this is exactly what I was expecting. This is Mickey Mouse surfing the waves next to the Golden Gate Bridge. So mission accomplished. And speaking of how my prompt was wrong, well, I'm not very good at prompting images, but the good thing is that we also have a little guide here under the image, which tells us how to write the perfect prompt. So we got the effective prompt writing guide and how we can adjust the controls because if you go into the advanced controls, you get a number of different parameters that you can uh, customize, which are also explained. And you get some examples of writing an effective prompt and a less effective prompt, which you probably want to avoid. Next up, we have the AI music generation tool, which again, disclaimer here, I'm not really good with music, so I'm probably gonna suck at writing a prompt for this one. In fact, I'm even bad at listening to music. If you went on my Spotify, I'm just listening to the same songs all the time in loops. So. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna ask it to give me a beat similar to Tupac's songs. And after a few seconds, we have this. Which I think is pretty alright, considering how bad my prompt was. Let's give it another shot with something like violin and hip hop and see what it comes up with. which is even better, I think, considering again my terrible prompt. Last but not least, we also have a place to keep all our past conversations in the history tab. And you can see that I had a conversation with perplexity before, which you can see here. And another one which I had with Claude.ai, where it was explaining to me how to write a bit of code. And you can also export this to a CSV if you wanted to, for whatever reason. And further on, you can go into your image generation history tab where you can see our Mickey Mouse surfing the Golden Gate Bridge images. And that would be about it. This is what we have inside the Ninja Chat tool. Again, if you wanna check it out, please follow my affiliate link, which is down in the description below, 
or right around my fingers around here. And don't forget about the Silicon My 25 promo code, which gives you 25% off your purchases. All I can say is I truly recommend this tool. I think it's a great package for a great price and it gives you access to all of those different models so you can select which one works best for you for what use case. So that is Ninja Chat and I'll see you all in the next episode very soon. Take care.